today I'm going to be fixing this plastic piece that's in the steering wheel. This is a V8 S4. This is a common problem. I've seen a lot of people try and get this piece off. It will not come off. You can do whatever you want. There are about 16 different tabs behind this that stick into it. You physically have to remove the airbag off of here, and then you have to disassemble the airbag completely to get to the bottom of this where the 16 tabs are at. You will have to destroy those 16 tabs to get this piece to come off. Uh, it's a dangerous process, and I think the easier way to go about this will be just to paint this on the steering wheel. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to clean the steering wheel off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some interior cleaner with a little brush here. I'm gonna get it wet and go around here and clean the inside and the outside of this off in order to get all of that stuff off and make sure it's clean and prep it for the paint. So I'm not gonna have little imperfections or have those little bubbles in my paint because I had some stuff that was in there. I was trying to clean that out with this nylon brush that I was using. I don't want to scratch this leather, so I think a better way to go about this and get them little pieces of dust and dirt out there is to use air. So I'm going to use 120 PSI on my tank here to get this little particles cleaned out of here and see how that goes. Make sure there's no water in there, so... take some painter's tape and I'm going to cut it with scissors because if I don't cut it with scissors and you tear it you're going to get that little crinkle in there and it's not going to fit in there properly so I'm going to cut it with scissors and I'm going to cut a whole bunch of little pieces to make sure that it fits in here now there is just a little groove on either side that goes around this and you want to make sure that that tape is going to get inside of that groove when you put the tape in there so when you paint it, you're gonna go up to that line to paint it there to make sure that it looks good all the way around. You're going to wanna fit those in there and make sure they're in the grooves properly. So you don't get any paint inside of there because it will be very difficult to remove the paint once it's inside of there on your steering wheel.
All right, so I just want to give you a closer view of what I did and how it is wrapped around there. As you can see, it goes underneath the steering wheel in that little crevice. You don't want to stick it in there too deep because what goes in has to come out and you don't want to have little blue pieces of tape stuck behind there that rip when you pull them off. I am going around and putting these pieces of tape on here just to further cover it and make sure everything's covered. And I'm going to get that wrapped up and then apply some paint. This all taped up. I'm gonna take a little Brillo pad, you know, a green one, and kind of run it over here to clean the rest of this stuff off of here. To get me down to the plastic and get most of the little pieces off that are on here. So when my paint goes on, it's gonna go on smooth and it's not going to have little pieces of this stuff in there. I really want to avoid that. So I kind of want to go over it with this thing. I'm going to put a thing down here so it catches pieces as they... that cleaned off I'm gonna use a vacuum I'm gonna suck this off and then I'm gonna hit it with the air hose again before I paint it all right I got my rust-oleum decorative paint pen this is a chrome pen I got this from Menards I think it was like four dollars so this is what I'm gonna use I also got a roller from Menards to possibly roll it on so the finish is flat and this is just a foam roller that I have on here. I've never done this before, so this is a trial and error process. Hopefully, this isn't too difficult to do. And hopefully this roller will work okay to flatten it out. I might have to put a couple of coats on it, but this is ready to go here. We'll see how this looks. I'll let this dry for a few minutes and I'll come back and put another coat on and we'll hit it with this roller and see how that goes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. This is dry to the touch. I'm gonna to take this roller and I'm gonna get the edge of it covered in paint. I'm just gonna take this and mark around it. This paint dries kind of fast, so it's gonna be important that I do this quickly in order to make this work. I'm gonna try and get some paint on here. And then I'm gonna get some paint on here. And then I'm gonna roll it on there. Like this, I'm pressing a little hard. Get that paint to roll on there. Give me a good finish. Kind of, this is absorbing the paint because it's a sponge, so you got to get a decent amount of paint on it. All right, it's been another 20 minutes. That is dry to the touch. I want to put one more coat on this just to make sure that is sealed. It's not flat chrome, but it's close enough for what it looked like. And having to take the entire wheel out of this thing seems kind of drastic to change it. So this for me matches the aluminum kind of in the interior. <laughs> Let 
that dry it. Pull off the tape and see what it looks like. All right, it's dry now. Let's pull back the. Yep, I'd say that that looks quite a bit better than going through all the other BS you can do to get that done. So there's a solution for you. If somebody knows something better, by all means, post it below. I'll also post and include the information for the stuff I bought and used so you can get the same things. Good luck.